Hey, welcome back to our super simple farming game in Pico 8. We, we've broken things. <laughs> we have a inventory that is working down here, but we can't do anything with it. And all of our buttons don't work. So I've left you guys a little bit on a uh, cliffhanger, but let's, let's fix some of this, shall we? So basically how this works is we have an inventory table that we set up at the beginning of our init function. So we have our main game loop here. I inventory is a function that we call at init. And this I inventory sets up a blank inventory table. And then we're just adding some stuff to our inventory. We'll do this in a different way when we actually play the game, but we're just kind of getting stuff in there for for now and I'll actually probably just get rid of these last three seeds because they're just repeats and whatever's in our inventory which right now would be gold carrots and seeds if we hit save and run that appears down here in our hot bar so that's great but we need a way to select an item and then we need a way to actually do something with the items so let's make a selection box here and so under draw inventory dinv right here let's make a rectangle Let's just say rect, and this is gonna be to start out with on the left, upper left side of our inventory, which is gonna be very similar to our rect fill here. This is our background rectangle. So this is the upper left corner and the lower right corner is gonna be here. And so let's make this, this, let's try like 38 and 125. Let's see what that looks like. And let's make this color. Let's make this maybe white. So color seven, save and run. And now we have this white box around it. Let's make that a little bit wider, maybe 39. There we go. So now we have this white box around things. Let's make it so that we can move the white box depending on what we select. And I think what we'll do is we'll just hit a button to kind of uh, step through our selections here. So we need to make a variable. And so in our I inventory, let's make a variable called select SEL and SEL equals one for now. We've just selected our first item in our inventory. Now this doesn't actually do anything. This is just setting this up. So SEL equals one. And let's actually do a U inventory as well for an update. Let's just make another function here. It's nice to kind of break things out, these little functions. And I think that I have our button, our other button doing something here in the, yeah, it, it sells carrots actually. So we're gonna do this a different way anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. That was just to test things out. And now in our U inventory, let's say uh, if button pressed, and it's gonna be button and pressed shift O, then we're going to make our selection plus equals one. Now we'll do this in a different way in a second, but we're, we're gonna start this out this way. Then we need to tell this box to move based on what our selection is. So I think what we'll do is we'll just say plus selection times nine. That's gonna move this over nine pixels. And then let's take this down nine pixels and let's just see if this works, save run. And then this should break when I hit Z, yes, okay. So we're also gonna do this for our other X value here, this 39. Let's take this down to 30. And so the X value of the upper left and the X value of the lower right are going to move depending on what our selection is. So save run, now if I hit Z, that moves our selection over to the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. But we don't want to have more than our selection. So we have to limit that somehow. We can do that with a conditional here in our update. So let's say if cell is less than, well, we want however many items are in our inventory. What's great is we can count how many items are in our inventory by using this table. And so we'll just say um, pound sign INV. That's going to count how many items are in that inventory table. So if it's less than the items in our inventory, we're gonna add one else cell equals one. Save and run. We should probably put a then. Save run. We should probably put an end. I know how to do if stuff. Save and run. There we go. And now if I hit Z, it will step through all of our items here. Yay, that's cool. Now, this isn't actually doing anything. It's just drawing a rectangle around each item. Now, we need to tell the game that we're selecting a specific item. So whatever our selection is, it needs to look up that item and then do different things based on whatever we're doing. So I think for this video, we're just going to have it actually select the item and then we're going to have it do stuff in the next video. But let's get this going. So anytime that we set our selection here, we can actually look up what we have selected with this inventory table. 
and each item has different properties. And so we can access any of those properties. Let's do it this way. So draw inventory. Let's just, um, for now, let's just say print item. This is just gonna print the word item to test this out. And let's do 63 comma 63. And then what color, how about color seven? Save and run. So now we have the item in the middle. Let's actually just put this down a little bit so we can see it easily. So whatever item we have selected, we're going to put here. Of course, now it just says item. So to draw that, let's just say inventory and then whatever we have selected, and then we could just say dot name, save run. We have gold, then carrots and seeds. So we can access the name of anything that we have selected this way. This is why we made this a table is because you can store so much information in this and just step through it with this little toggle. So now we can change the entire way the game works just by selecting different items. Really cool. So let's actually get this working just a touch. If we have the carrot selected and we hit X, Right now it errors out because we jacked up a bunch of stuff because when we hit button X, if we're on a blank tile, it checks to see if we have seeds and we'll test for this and everything eventually here. But for now, let's just get this working and we'll just say if item, if inventory selection dot name equals seeds, save run, let's get rid of that greater than zero, save run, it's two ifs for some reason. Okay. So now if I switch over to seeds, look at that, now I can plant those patches. So all is not lost. Don't worry. <laughs> it's broken, but it's not that broken. So that's great. I can even water my seeds and I'll be able to partially harvest these, but it's going to try and update our seeds variable and air out. So when we harvest, we're adding carrots and seeds, and we're going to fix that in the next video. But for now, we can select our different items. And if we have seeds selected, we can put those down. And as soon as we want, if we have other things selected, we can use those as well. So pretty good start doing that simple selection. Hope you had fun. I'll catch you in the next one.